Welcome back. In this video, we're going to try to prove that x plus the square root of x squared plus 1 is strictly bigger than 0 for all x's in R. Okay? We're going to use some easy techniques that we have seen. Okay? Uh, so, um, even high schoolers can, can understand this proof. We're going to uh, split this proof into three cases. Okay, we're going to treat the case where x is 0, when x is bigger than 0, when x is less than 0. Okay, if you want to work this problem by yourself, you have the steps that you need. Okay, let's do it. So assume that, uh, first note that if we treat this one as a function, so if we treat x plus the square root of x squared plus 1 as a function, we see that the domain is r, because here the x squared plus 1 is always bigger than 0. So we, ha we, don't have a, we don't have a problem here defining the square root. And this is defined for all the real. So we have a function, sum of two functions that are both defined on r. Okay, so the aim is to prove that this quantity x plus the square root of x squared plus 1 is strictly bigger than 0. So as we said, we, we will treat uh, uh, separate cases. So the first case is when uh, 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 x is 0. So when we have x is 0, so we see that we, in this case, we have 0 plus the square root of 0 plus 1. So this is 1, and it's strictly bigger than 0. Okay? So we are done with the case uh, x equals 0. The second uh, case, or case 2, is when x is bigger strictly bigger than zero. Here we're going to use some ordering techniques to uh, prove that uh, this quantity is bigger than zero. Okay, so x is bigger than zero, that means x squared is bigger than zero. Okay, and uh, so we get this one by multiplying uh, both sides by x. Okay, so for those who don't know, so this is x times x bigger than x times 0, because x is positive, and x times x is simply x squared, and x times 0 is simply 0, okay? So this is a more clarification of this proof, okay? Now we add 1 to both sides, so we have 1 plus x squared is bigger than 1, and the square root is an increasing function, so uh, when we apply the square root, so the square root is an increasing function. So if we have x and y, so the square root of x, uh, uh, so if x is less than y, then the square root of x is less than the square root of y. So here we apply the square root function. So we have the square root of 1 plus x squared is bigger than the square root of 1, which is 1. Now if we add x to both sides, so we have 1 plus x. So we have x plus the square root of 1 plus x squared is bigger than 1 plus x, okay? But here, uh, 1 uh, plus x, uh, if we try and uh, uh, order it, so we have x bigger than 0, then 1 plus x is bigger than 1. So that means 1 plus x is bigger than 1, which is bigger than 0. So we have this quantity, x plus the square root of 1 plus x squared is bigger than 0. We are explaining all the steps. So in this case, we prove that if x is positive, so x plus the square root of 1 plus x squared is bigger than 0. Now let's treat the case, case 3, so where x is less than 0. So we have x plus the square root of 1 plus x squared. So this is positive, this is negative, so we don't know which one is bigger. Which one is bigger to say Okay, but uh, we're going to use some technique that we have seen or that uh, it's easy to establish. So we're going to multiply by the conjugate. Okay, so we have x plus the square root of 1 plus x squared times x minus the square root of 1 plus x squared over x minus, uh, uh, minus the square root of 1 plus x squared. We don't know this quantity, we don't know how it is, it's positive or negative, but it doesn't matter. But here we can we can multiply, so we get x squared minus uh, 1 minus x squared over 
x minus the square root of 1 plus x squared. So simplifying one more time, we get minus 1 over x minus square root of 1 plus x squared. So this is the same as this one, as this one here, okay? So Because we multiplied by the conjugate. Okay, uh, we see that uh, in this case we have minus 1 over x minus the square root of 1 plus x squared. But this quantity here is negative. So negative over negative is positive. So this is bigger than 0. We have to clarify this. So here the square root of 1 plus x squared is always bigger than 0. So minus the 1 plus x squared is less than 0. Since x is negative, okay, so we add x, get x here, x is less than 0, so we have x minus the one, square root of 1 plus x squared is less than 0. So this is less than 0, okay? And this is less than 0, therefore we have this one, a negative quantity over a negative quantity, which is a positive quantity. That means that we can say that uh, x plus the square root of 1 plus x squared is bigger than 0. Okay? Okay, I think that's uh, that's all we have to do. And I think we treated all the cases. That means that we have shown that this one is always positive. 